Raise your hand if you are an organization geek and looking for cool Amazon finds. My people. It's all good, but we can do better. I mean, I love those things and would buy all of them. But on the other hand, I always catch myself thinking it could be better. So here is a question for you. Do you ever look at a product and think like, I could make that myself? Well, now's the time to turn that thought into reality. 3D printers have been around and becoming more and more accessible and affordable than ever before. Whether you are a hobbyist, a creator, or even planning to create a small business around it, I feel like the right 3D printer can open up endless possibilities. Stick around because in this video we will not only cover the essential details you need to know and show you the best option in my opinion, but more importantly, uncover some often overlooked deciding factors that most reviewers leave out. So let's get started, but first, intro. What's up everyone, Peter here. I really think that 3D printing can be quite useful in our lives. Even before I got one, I used services for specific needs of mine, like uh, getting a cover for my uh, smart home ESP32 device. How cool is it? If you like it, show it by smashing the like button. But even more, if you are into this stuff, this might be a good time to get in the game. So if you are looking for the best price value ratio 3D printer on the market, let me introduce you to the Creality K1C dubbed as the champion of speed and skills. The K1C offers a perfect blend of performance, affordability and ease of use. Let's dive into what makes this printer a game changer while we do a good old unboxing and also discuss some of the downsides so you can make an informed decision. Right out of the box, the Creality K1C is ready to go, no complicated setup needed. Just like unboxing an uh, iPhone or any smartphone, within like 3 minutes, you are up and running. The fully enclosed design along with the 600mm per second dome square maximum printing speed ensures high quality prints without sacrificing time. Oh, and it supports carbon fiber filaments which are ideal for printing durable, high strength parts, perfect for fixtures and prototypes. Of course, it's also compatible with a variety of other materials like PLA, ABS, PETG and TPU, you name it. In terms of user experience, the K1C comes with a clog-free extruder and a quick strap tri-metal nozzle, meaning uh, that you can print for hours without interruption and easily replace parts if needed. The built-in AI camera even monitors your prints, alerting you to any issues in real time, plus you can watch it in real time. This makes it easy for beginners and pros alike to monitor their work remotely or create cool time-lapse videos. Before we cover the pros and cons, allow me to share my experience and here highlight a few things that I haven't seen in other reviews. So, I wanted to start with something easy, just downloading a model and printing it. I did two things, a toothpaste squeezer and the tool organizer for the K1C accessories. Both printed easily, the K1C tools fit perfectly and the build is super rigid. As for the toothpaste squeezer, I was amazed how precise the cog wheels are and about the fact that it just works. It's amazing. As for next projects, I found amazing organizers for your desk and kitchen and home and even on the wall, so make sure to subscribe if you are interested in that. So, after the warm-up, I wanted something more challenging, downloading a model and modifying it. You see, my car has this really stupid built-in phone holder and I've been looking for a replacement and couldn't find anything. And trust me, I did look. So, you can guess how surprised I was when I saw that the 3D printing community has models specifically for my car ready to use. One caveat though, I wanted to customize it with a ball head. So I played around and learned how to create a sphere in Blender 3D. It is harder than you think. And I had to learn the two things the hard way, angle of printing and combining two shapes. Let's start with the second. 
So initially, I just placed the sphere uh, to the phone holder and while the print was good, it broke. It is so obvious, but no one tells you that, of course, you should not only focus on the surface, but the internal parts as well. So what I had to do is extend the arm of the sphere uh, way into the rectangle so it became more stable. So keep this one in mind. And the other thing was that when you are printing, you should consider how the printer works and place your model accordingly. I tried to print it sideways, but the ball head was a mess. I mean, just look at this. So I had to adjust it and lay it down and then it all worked out. So what do you think? What would you print if you had a printer or do you have any? Please, if you have any advice for me, share your thoughts in the comments. Now, let's weigh the pros and cons of getting a 3D printer, especially the Creality K1C. Starting with the pros. Speed. It's incredibly fast with speeds up to 600 mm per second square and 20,000 mm second square acceleration. Perfect for high volume projects. Enclosed build. The enclosed design keeps temperature stable and minimizes issues like warping, which is crucial for maintaining high print quality, especially when using high-end materials like carbon fiber filaments. Core XY system. This makes the printer more agile and precise, helping you achieve a clean, detailed print. AI camera. A smart addition for ensuring reliability and even creating great time-lapse footage as well. Affordability. Compared to its competition, the K1C offers a lot of advanced features for a responsible price, just what I mentioned. But on the con side, the filament path, I read about that, that the path isn't as smooth as it could be, leading to some frustration when loading the materials. While I had a bit of issue at the beginning and uh, had to watch a tutorial on loading a filament since I've never done it before, it was a smooth sail after that for me. Glue stick required. Well, you'll need, a, need to apply a glue stick to print uh, uh, for certain materials, which can be a bit of a hassle, but for typical usage like PLA, you don't need that. Limited to single color. This is my biggest con since uh, you cannot print multiple colors at the same time, so for now, it's limited to single color prints, which might be a deal breaker if you are looking for multicolor capabilities. So, what's my take? If you are considering diving into the world of 3D printing or just uh, looking to upgrade your current setup, the Creality K1C offers an impressive combination of speed, reliability and versatility without breaking the bank. And here is a tip. Whether or not you own a 3D printer yet, you can start by downloading other models, modifying it, learning a software like Blender 3D, and even designing your own models today. You could check out uh, platforms like uh, Thinkverse.com, Printables.com, or even Creality's own CrealityCloud.com. These sites offer thousands of ready-to-print models, or you can upload your own designs to have them printed through a service, allowing you to get a feel for 3D printing before committing to a machine. I already see myself tweaking my smart home and my home office studio and desk setup that you can see. I already feel I am near that place, but I'm always looking to ways to make it better. So if you are into creating the ultimate smart home or desk setup, why don't you check out uh, these videos right here? I'm sure you will find quite, uh, some uh, good inspiration. Yeah. Anyways. That's it for this video. If you found this helpful, uh, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe with the bell. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one, maybe in this link. Bye.